Yeah, baby just got home and he brought me flowers. Oh, they are so beautiful. <laughs> he loves me. Bitch said that I'm so bad. I like finer, finer, finer things in life. I like finer, finer, finer things in life. I like finer, finer, finer. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shatasha, aka your Sidity Cousin. For those of you who are new here, welcome all the pretty and Sidity girls from all over the world. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn the notification bell on so that you get all of my new bougie content. So today, I'm about to head to brunch with Brittany, my best friend. I'm so excited. Um, I have an eye doctor's appointment shortly, and so before going to the eye doctor, I decided to grab lunch with her since I'm going to be on her side of town. So... That's what we're about to do. Let's go. For my outfit today, I'm just wearing this misguided sweatshirt, my Louis Vuitton belt with my Louis Vuitton bag, these jeans and my Ugg boots. Pretty comfortable because it's like 40 something degrees outside. But the other half needs affection and joy. And that's the one that is created by a girl and a boy. I need love. All right, y'all, so I've made it to the restaurant and this is cute. Um, it looks like it's somewhere in downtown Alpharetta. Um, it's called Flatlands. I've never been here before, but it's Cajun food and I love me some Louisiana food. So, and Brittany's actually from Louisiana and she's not here yet, which I called her and she's supposed to be pulling up in two minutes, supposedly. So sis, I know you saw my phone call. Okay. <laughs> So I'm gonna talk shit when she get here because um, usually I'm the late person and I was on time today. And we both got somewhere to be at two o'clock. Oh, speaking. So I'm going to the eye doctor and I'm super excited because baby, I'm getting some Chanel glasses. <laughs> I'm getting some Chanel glasses and y'all ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing. <laughs> This was the only like eye doctor that takes my prescription like that I could find. Um, obviously even outside the perimeter. So super excited about that. So I'm gonna take y'all to the eye doctor with me so y'all can see like the different frames I choose between. I already know which ones I want. It's like either the um, cat eye or the butterfly frames. And I don't know if I wanna do tortoiseshell or if I wanna do black with the beige. So, I don't know. She said they have a lot right now. Their selection is plentiful to choose from. But if they didn't have what I want, she could order them for me. So, we'll see how that goes. But, um, oh, Brittany's texting me right now. So, I'll talk to y'all later. Um, Brittany still isn't here. She's running a bit behind. But let me show y'all. It's so cute. Okay, so I heard from Brittany and she said she's 10 minutes away. So I'm gonna go ahead and look over the menu. Thank you. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have a drink because even though it's lunchtime, like I still have my eye doctor's appointment right after this and I don't wanna have that on my breath bad enough. This is gonna smell. But I got Listerine strips, so. This menu looks really good. I would probably want the jambalaya, the shrimp and grits, um, Cajun shrimp pasta, crawfish etouffee. Oh, they serve theirs with white rice. I would do it with dirty rice. I was craving some. Oh, they have poor boys. I just had a po' boy last weekend. I was craving crawfish edifice last weekend and I settled on the po' boy, so I think I'm gonna go with the crawfish edifice and ask for dirty rice. Everything looks so good. Yeah, it is. Um, can I start with the alligator bites while I wait? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Guess who's finally here? She finally made I it. I made it. That hair look good, honey. You look good. I'm loving all of this cognac. Yes. Thanks, I feel the vibes. Yes. You yeah. look beautiful. Thanks, sweetheart. I love it. I like your hair. Oh, well, I was really concerned about it. Hello.
I'm a fan of picks. They are the Chanel ones. And this square is, the shape is square. I thought it was probably more of a butterfly, but it's not. It looks like it. So we're gonna go with it. My second pick was these Tom Ford cat eye ones, but I don't know. It interferes with my eyebrows. It might be too snatched. I think they're too snatched. I don't like these, but I don't like the beige on it. Maybe the Twitter show ones would have been cool. I have to order them. Mm. These could be cool in Twitter show. But I don't think I want an all plastic frame. did that before and I didn't really like it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one. The regular tortoiseshell Chanel frames with the, um, there's some type of fabric lining the double C's on it. And then it has the CC's on the tip of the ear cuffs. So these, we got a winner. I've decided which ones I want. <laughs> Good morning, babes. Happy Friday. So right now I am headed to my wax appointment. Um, it's pretty early, it's like nine o'clock. And well, it's 9.02, so I'm like two minutes late. But that's nothing. I usually don't go this early, but I have a nail appointment at 10 o'clock. And so I figure I can just knock them both out this morning and have a good um, head start to my day. So we're hanging out with our rich friends tonight. So I gotta go ahead and handle my business first thing this morning so that I can run a few more errands today. And then I need to get some rest because tonight is going up. We're going to Top Golf, and then we're supposed to be going to dinner. It's gonna be a long day, but it's gonna be fun. I'll probably try to catch a nap later on, but right now I'm about five minutes late for my wife's appointment, so let me run in here. We got my banana bread. Thank you so much. You have a good day. Thank you. Oh shit, somebody is here in a Rolls Royce truck, and that is nice. Ooh. It looks a little weird, but it's kind of cute. Who is this? So now I gotta go in the nail shop and be nosy and look around and be like, hmm, who drives that? I don't think I got the right thing. I think I should have got a chai tea latte. What's this? This is a regular latte. Yeah. I didn't get the right thing. This is disgusting. This is not good. This is coffee. I don't really drink coffee besides like my frappuccino. Yeah, this is not it. Yo, let me eat my banana bread. I don't know what we're gonna do this time since um, I started with white. I don't know if I'm gonna keep like the uniform. I'm getting rid of the snowflakes, but I don't know what we're gonna do. I guess we'll see what we'll come up with when I come back. Not a gun snake, I need a king cobra with a hook in it, hoping lean over. And that's where I'm headed, cause he ain't one, just like his credit. Well, I'm trying to wet it. All right, y'all, so I am back. I just finished getting my nails done and they are so cute. I went back to Umbre and I absolutely love them. So um, I got my nails done and I got white toes and I do get gel, so it's a little pricey, um, but I get my nails done every like three to four weeks, so it's not too bad. 
um but i really like this so he did charge me as if i got like a full set and he charged me for um the rhinestones and the pixie nail that pixie nail is so fucking cute oh my gosh look at it look at the bling bling all right, so now I'm at this black owned business called Scoville's Hot Chicken and I came across it on my Instagram account and I saw like a guy was doing like an interview and um, just doing like a review of the different levels of the hot chicken that they have for their chicken sandwiches. And I saw that it was like right up the street from my nail salon, like literally a three minute drive. So I decided to try this for lunch today while I'm over here um, before I head back home. So that's what we're about to do now is go get some lunch cause sis, I'm hungry. I'm about to take a bite out of it before I pull off just so that I can get like the true experience of it while it's like super hot. This shit is hot. Oh my god, this shit is so hot. Let's see. Oh, oh wow. Oh, it's all down. Oh, okay. I see. Shit, that's the part I want to bite off. That's the part with all this sauce and coleslaw. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, this shit is good. Pretty big sandwich. Um, I think the coleslaw and I think the coleslaw makes it a little sweeter to deal with the heat, but this is good. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. I got to bring Keon back here. The fries are really good in season. Mm. Oh yeah. This shit good. So I've made it back home and I had just got out the shower. So right now I'm about to go ahead and do my makeup and get dressed so that we can head out the door and go ahead and meet our friends at Top Golf. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear yet. I was looking at like this um Himlo Lang hoodie that I got in my off-white, but um if we're going to dinner afterwards, like a really nice dinner, I don't know if I want to wear sneakers to a dinner and a sweatshirt. But I don't want to be too dressed up because, I mean, we're still going to play golf. So I'm kind of torn with what I should wear today. I don't know. I'll figure it out. And when I do, y'all will see it. All right. All right. So y'all can see the outfit. It's this Himalayan sweatshirt, some jeans, and my off-white sneakers. So we're just going to top golf and dinner. So this is just something light. And then let me throw on, like, my leather jacket so I can go out the door. Because Kim is downstairs waiting on me. So I got to hear you. All right.
Good morning, Pretty and Sanity Girls. Happy Sunday. Today's Sunday? Yeah. It's been a long holiday weekend for me. So um, we're about to go to the mall because I want to find these Chanel earrings and I want to smell the new Christian Louboutin fragrances. And then start looking for Babe for Valentine's Day gifts. So while we got the time, that's what we're gonna do today. My tea water is ready. I'm about to make me some black tea to take out the door with me since I haven't eaten yet. And it's already at 12. We could grab something to eat while we're out. But I was gonna make seafood today, so I don't know. I gotta see. Stevia. I don't use sugar. I use stevia. I'm gonna make it in here because I am about to go out the door. I'm gonna make it leave enough room for the cream. But yeah, so um, so we're headed to Saks and probably Neiman's, but I think I saw something that said that their Chanel and Neiman's is permanently closed and I looked it up this morning and I don't know why. So we're gonna go to um, Saks first. And that way, like we can look around and um, see like a lot of different stuff aside from just what we're looking for, just in case, you know. Big Daddy wanna buy me something nice. <laughs> and I have some um, almond milk creamer because I am lactose intolerant. And this one is caramel, so. It's been good so far. That's why I'm not gonna put any um, vanilla syrup in it because it's already sweet. So I'm gonna just stir this all up. Oh, that's good. All right, baby, I'm ready. Okay, hey, yeah, so we are back from the mall and uh, I didn't find my Chanel earrings. They had the studs that had the um, gold plating and the pearls in them, but I wanted the ones with the crystals in them. So I gave the essay my information and so she said she's gonna text me when she um, gets them in. So there was um, an actual boutique store that had them in Las Vegas, but unfortunately, since I haven't shopped with Chanel before, I don't have an account in the system, so you can't call and get them to place an order over the phone if you're not um, an establishing customer already. So that's unfortunate because this would have been our first Chanel purchase. So. I'm really upset about that, but it's okay. Um, she did say she will let me know when they come in. As far as the Christian Louboutin fragrances, Saks only had two. They had the Louboutin Bit Rouge and um, I don't know, it was the the, um, the bottle that had the cat on top of it. So, um, 
I didn't like how either one of them smelled and I'm so glad I want to smell them because um, I was watching another woman's vlog on here who um, reviews a lot of perfumes and she she liked it but she said that it didn't last long or it didn't smell great after like um now I think she said she liked how it smelled but it didn't last long and that her husband didn't notice it on her and so that was very disappointing and I'm like if it costs 300 some dollars and Keanu don't smell it on me then that shit gotta go back to the store so um we did smell a whole bunch of buns um, the bun number nines, and there were several that Keon came across that he really liked, so he was sure to let me know. And then um, I smelled some of the ones for the women, and um, I didn't like a lot of them. Like, I didn't like a lot of them. So I was referred a couple different smells from the um, bun number nine family. And I even had some like in my cart online, like in my favorites and stuff. Based on like the notes that were in them, I thought I would like them, but I'm glad that I actually went to go smell them because they didn't smell good. The only two I liked were, um, well, there were three, but one I think is unisex. So I really like the bun number nine. Um, shit, what was it? Baby, what I had like, I like the spring fling and Emerald, uh, that was yours. Now, which one I like for myself? Uh, it wasn't Madison Corner, um, but I think that one was decent. Um, oh. No, I thought the Greenwich Village. That's the, Greenwich Village smells so good. And I think I was like 405 or something like that. So I like that one the most, Greenwich Village. I like um, Spring Fling, which is, I was actually preferred that one. Thank Cleese Boo. And then um, what's the other one that you like? Uh, that, not Wall Street, the other one. Governor's Island. Governor's Island. Oh my God, it smells good. I told him if he gets it, I'm wearing it. So now I like the bun of Manon Tribeca. FYI, if y'all like Baccarat Rouge, it smells just like Tribeca. So I told him he didn't have to get it since I got Baccarat Rouge, but I don't want him spraying out my perfume. <laughs> Baccarat Rouge is unisex if y'all didn't know. I just, I don't know how it smells on a man. Um, so yeah, maybe I will let Keon wear it one day so I can see how it comes off on him. But uh, so those were the bun number nines that I like. And then um, I, oh, so while we were at Phipps, uh, we was at Saks. So for those of you who are not from Atlanta, um, I'm sure y'all have heard of Lennox Mall and then Fitz Plaza, which if you're not familiar with, is across the street from Lennox Mall. And they have um, our Saks Fifth Avenue. And then they have a bunch of other like high-end stores like Tom Ford, Tiffany & Company, um, and a bunch of other ones. So I went to Saks at Fitz and Chanel didn't have my earrings and stuff. Um, but they did have this cute belt. And so, um, y'all saw the clip earlier of me with the belt on. And then let's see, Kia looked at a bunch of stuff too, um, but I didn't record any of that. And then we went to Neiman's because we wanted to go to the Chanel inside of Neiman's. It wasn't closed, so I don't know why my phone told me it was closed permanently this morning, but it wasn't. So, um, we went to that Chanel and that's the one that the girl actually ended up helping me finding the earrings that I wanted. Oh. Also, I went to Tom Ford and I tried on the um, Padlock Hill shoes. I absolutely love those shoes. And I was gonna get a pair in nude, but Kia said I don't need them on nude shoes, but I need the black ones too. So I was gonna get the nude and the black ones. I was gonna buy them both today, but I was about to buy them new ones today. And girl, when I tell y'all, okay, so I'm a 38 and a half, 
Well, I'm supposed to be. I'm a, I'm an eight and a half in regular shoes. Sometimes a nine, depending on how they're cut. So in uh, designer shoes, I buy a size 39. Um, but the guy was like, these were small. Um, a lot of people have been sizing up like a whole size or a size and a half. And I was just like, what? So um, he told me to try on the size 40. Or um, no, did we try 40 on? No, we tried on 39 and a half. Yeah, so he told me to just try on the size 39 and a half. So I did. I tried on that one and I could wear it, but my feet were sliding down like to the front of the shoe. So um, they were sliding down because they were too big, I guess, even though they felt fine. The strap that goes around your ankle that shit um, was way too big. And I asked them like, do they do the additional holes in the shoe? And he said, no, I would have to take it to like um, a shoe specialist. So um, I walked around the store with the shoes on and looked in the mirror. And by the time I made it to the damn mirror, my feet were killing me. Bitch, I was three steps away from the mirror. <laughs> three steps away from the mirror and my toes were hurting so bad. Like, it's a little bitty skinny ass strap on it. And so like my feet slid down in the sandals and then my pinky toe on both fucking shoes started hurting so bad, like so bad. Like I was like, sir, these are killing my toes. And he was like, oh yeah, that's normal. Um, a lot of women, some of them are uncomfortable by it and some of them are completely comfortable. And I was like, what? Like, who, who's comfortable in a shoe that's really killing your damn toe? Like, that strap hurt my toe. So um, I took the shoes off. And he was like, well, maybe it is too big because where your feet sliding, I'm like, yeah, slid down in it. So he was like, let's actually go with the 39. Like, just try the 39. So when I put on the 39, it was a much better fit. Like, it really did. And then, like, where my toe was hurting in the 39 and a half, the shoe, the, um, my toe slid past that part. So I thought I was in the clear, right? So when I first put them on, I was like, oh, yeah, these feel a lot better. Like, these are pretty comfortable. Like, you know, just as comfortable as heels are. But it wasn't hurting my toe. Walked right on over to look in the mirror from the bench and my toes started hurting again. <laughs> I was like, fuck these shoes. I'm not wearing these. <laughs> I was so mad. I was so irritated because like I really, really, really wanted those shoes. And I wanted them in like all the colors. <laughs> so um he was saying like, you know, beauty is pain and da 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 da. And he was like, how much are those shoes? And I think they were like 11.50 or something like, I think they were like 1100, I don't know. But the point is, it ain't about that. I wanted those shoes. And I thought I was about to get those shoes. But when my feet started hurting, I was like, who getting these shoes? <laughs> I wanted those shoes so bad. <sighs> I guess I ain't need them no way. <laughs> That's all right. I'm gonna get my Alexander Wayne shoes after um, they officially released in February and they are half the price of those damn Tom Ford shoes. But Tom Ford is just so classy and I'm a classy bitch. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, and then what else happened today? Oh, um, I didn't vlog yesterday because I was with my mom. Um, for one, I was just chilling yesterday. Like yesterday, I was just super tired. Like I was exhausted because I had been ripping and running from like being excited that I was off um, half day Thursday and Friday. So it was like I was work, 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 work half a day doing me, doing me. And I needed to chill. Like I needed to rest, let my body rest. And my mom came over and um, we picked up some dinner. 
and came back to the house and just chilled out and talked. Um, I haven't seen my mom since Thanksgiving, I think. Yeah, like Thanksgiving. So it was good to see my mom and hang out and talk and shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so when we got up this morning, we decided to go to the mall, which my mom wanted to go to the mall yesterday. And when she talked to me today and found out that I was at the mall with Kia, she was like, oh, you want to go to the mall with me, but you would go to the mall with your husband. Oh, that's all it is. You wanted your husband to go to the mall so he could buy you something. <laughs> I was like, no, that is not the case. <laughs> I was supposed to go to the mall when I was off um, on Friday, but I had other stuff that I was doing and I really didn't have a good enough window to go to the mall on Friday. So, and Keon didn't want me to go to the mall by myself anyway, because all that stuff has been going on. Bookhead has been in the news and it's been a hot ass mess in Lennox, so. But I am about to make us some dinner. Um, we're gonna do a seafood boil. Oh, tomorrow we get our walls painted, so that'll be great. I'm gonna have to see how I'm gonna break this vlog up because it might be too long. So, I don't know. Soon, maybe when I get to 500 subscribers, I can get a new camera and computer and feel like, you know, it's definitely worth my investment. Because we're doing good. We're almost at 200. Like, hey, y'all. Hey, all my pretty city girls who are just now joining us. Welcome to the family. But now, thank y'all so much for subscribing and being here. I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. And I will talk to y'all later.